Now, this was the scene today where uh, you can see protesters still gathered here. All of this had to do with the county's controversial decision to move the vast majority of its CARES Act money to the county jail instead of to relief programs. There's a motion second. All those in favor say aye. 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 This was the rushed vote on moving the money to the jail. Right. I have a question on the motion. Chair is preparing to close. Came before Commissioner Kerry Bloomert, who opposes the Which idea, could even bits. sit down. Mr. Who? Calvi defending the choice, saying offering county relief programs would just be duplicating what other governments are already doing. I don't give in to bullies, and I don't give in to, I don't pay hush money to bullies, especially not with taxpayer dollars. So I'm not going to give those bullies the money they want. Commissioner Bloomberg and protesters are arguing that more relief is needed. If I were a, a, a non-elected official, if I were a citizen, I would be extremely angry and disappointed in county government. After the meeting, this tense moment as Commissioner Calvi walked back into the room to talk to reporters. This isn't a meeting. Okay, well, all the other press people are I'm under a press can I get in? A reporter with the outlet The Black Times blocked from going inside for that interview until a senior sheriff's deputy allowed him in. And a spokesperson for the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office tells me that The Black Times should have been allowed into that room along with any member of the public while that media availability was going on. Commissioner Kevin Calvi tells me in a statement that he did not intend to exclude any credentialed media, but also saying that this is, quote, fabricated outrage, unquote, from bullies. In Oklahoma City, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.